Hey everyone, today we will explain the plot of M3JN. It is an American horror film directed by Gerard Johnstone. It follows AI doll who develops self-awareness and becomes hostile towards anyone who comes between her and her human companion. Let's dive into the plot and enjoy watching. The film opens hilariously with an advertisement for a furry toy pet that is perfection for every child's pet needs. The scene cuts to a family of three on a ski trip in a car, driving through some heavy snow. The parents are arguing, and the little girl in the back seat is accessing her iPad to make the furry pet talk. Unfortunately, they collide headfirst into a snow truck, and both parents lose their lives in the accident. Katie, the little girl, is then sent to live with her guardian, her Aunt Gemma. Gemma is every parent's nightmare because she works at a tech company named Funky and creates those robot dolls that Katie loves to play with. Her home is filled with gadgets and collectibles that Katie should not get her hands on. And the two of them begin their time together with a rough start. She even has her own version of a talking speaker named Elsie who welcomes Gemma back home as they enter the house. As they have a visit with the counselor, it is clear that Gemma is not well equipped to care for a child. The two can't seem to speak about their grief, and instead of relying on each other for support, they cry in their own separate rooms. In the middle of all this, Gemma is on a strict deadline to launch a new furry product because competitive brands have started to replicate their high-tech product for a low cost. But she's been focused on producing a highly intelligent AI toy, spending millions of company dollars. All this was happening at the same time that Gemma lost her sister and brother-in-law and got handed Katie's responsibility. Then one night, Gemma has to work on her product and tells Katie she'll be right down the hall but to hold up for just a couple of hours. It ends up being more than a few hours, and Katie walks into Gemma's workspace. Gemma feels terrible, and Katie shows her a drawing, explaining how she can never get animal features right. Gemma, being a designer herself, can relate. And the two share a small moment. Katie then sees a giant robot in the room and asks Gemma what it is. Gemma shows Katie how it works and tells her it's what she built as a college project, but Bruce, the robot, is too expensive for anyone to buy. Katie, who finds Bruce extremely fascinating, lets Gemma know that if she had a toy like that, she wouldn't need another one. Driven by Katie's words, Gemma leaves behind the fur toy and impatiently works on getting M3JN, the Model 3 generative android. Ready. She calls David to come to see her amazing innovation and sets up Katie as the test subject for M3GAN. When her boss, David, finds out about this toy, he gets furious and tells Gemma to produce the newer, cheaper version of the furry toy immediately. The robot doll gets paired with the child she interacts with as the primary subject and uses a learning model to have real conversations and interactions with the said child. M3GAN is paired with Katie. David is impressed immediately and tells Gemma to prepare a presentation for the board. Meanwhile, while playing games, Katie accidentally loses her arrow on the neighbor's lawn, and M3JN goes to get it. She's snatched by the ferocious dog, and when Katie tries to save her, she gets bitten too. Gemma is furious and talks about putting the dog down because it's always on her property. M3JN overhears all of this and proceeds to kill the dog. After this, things escalate rather quickly, and M3JN, whose primary function is protecting Katie from physical and mental harm, starts to take her directives rather seriously. In front of the board, things go extremely well as Katie ends up having a breakdown, and M3JN saves the day by saving Katie's memories in her heart. Highly impressed, the board decides to launch the product. Gemma realizes she never managed to activate parental controls on M3GN and pairs with her as second in control. As the launch gets closer, Katie starts to show signs of withdrawal when M3GN is away. Katie gets furious and violent and doesn't listen to anyone when M3GN isn't around. At an outdoor school activity, Katie ends up being paired with a troubled young kid who ends up hurting her, and M3GN, who was supposed to be in the doll area, comes to save the day. M3GN is extremely strong and rips the boy's ear off before chasing him onto the road, where he gets hit by a car. Later, back at home, she deems the neighbor a threat too, and kills her with the chemicals she used to use on her own lawn. Gemma puts two and two together and believes that the robot doll is not fit for launch. 
but it's too late. As the launch is about to happen, she confronts Katie and tells her that she will take care of her just as her mom did and that M3GAN is not real. The last act of the film begins with M3GAN attacking her makers and blowing up their tech room, then hilariously transitioning to M3GAN's infamous TikTok-style dance as she grabs a paper cutter blade and hunts down David. She kills David and his assistant Kurt, revealing that the blame would be put on Kurt, who was found out by David, who he then killed in a jealous fit. Then he proceeded to kill himself for the terrible thing he did. M3GN storms out of the building as people react vividly to the two bodies. And then drives off in a sports vehicle. She managed to stop Katie and Gemma all the way back home. Gemma is terrified by what she has created and tries her best to distract M3GN to turn her off. Unfortunately, M3GN's learning system allows her to disregard these protocols and commands. M3GN puts Gemma down on the table as Katie hears the sound of their arguments, and Gemma convinces Katie that everything is alright. Gemma manages to smash a glass of water on M3GN's head, but it only ends up making her glitch a little bit. Gemma then shoves a chainsaw-esque machine down M3GN's head and only manages to rip some of her hair out before M3GN casually suggests to Gemma that she will lobotomize her in order to live with Katie for the rest of her life. Katie leaves her room due to the commotion and manages to grab Bruce's gloves. M3GN tries to convince her to join in on paralyzing Gemma before Katie makes Bruce fling M3GN, Hulk style, and rip her into two halves. Unfortunately for them, this isn't enough, and M3GN crawls out and grabs Gemma. Finally, Katie manages to stick a screwdriver into M3GN's brain and kill her. They walk out of the house alive before we hear Elsie turn the lights back on. It is safe to presume that M3GN has managed to upload her consciousness onto the server, essentially becoming omnipresent on the internet. While the physical form of M3GN is dead, her mind is everywhere. Thank you for watching hope you enjoyed.